we're using these countdown timers and stopwatches and you don't have to run both countdown timers you know at the same time you can run just one and I'll do another video on that and you can have that thing so that maybe you have like 10 questions let's let's say hypothetical let's say that you want to go over something in class everybody's studying something and it's a group activity right and then we're gonna throw a pop quiz there's 10 questions all right so to work on time management we will set it for to vibrate or beep either one either or and you can have it beep low or beep really loud and you can have it vibrate you know a little bit or a lot and they go silent you just keep your hand on them with one hand you hold this and it'll vibrate or usually if you're paying attention they'll start going and they'll vibrate on the table they'll start like <laughs> not exactly like that but you get the idea and so what you can do is for time management and class management what you do is you set this for say two minutes and down here let's turn it on and I'll show you a better example now that one is set up get over here under the light where we got some light and we can actually see I don't think we're gonna get much light here on this one nope we're not getting much light I'm, I'm looking at it and it looks kind of dark but the top number upper right corner is three and then underneath it is um, one minute and then down here in the lower left corner that's the number and it says 10 it should say 10 there's 10 of them okay or supposed to be so it'll go 10 times so like if you were going to exercise it would let you exercise for three minutes and then it would give you a minute rest break and you would repeat then you exercise another three minutes then you take a minute rest exercise three minutes take a minute rest and then after it goes 10 times that right there if i can get it to pull up i don't know if you guys can see that or not i can't see it i don't have my reading glasses but there's another number right next to how many times that is how long that your uh alarm is going to ring or vibrate or whatever and it's going to go for one second or beep and just like that so yeah our light sucks our light sucks right now but remember one thing at a time and the purpose was not to get out here and try to film what you would film if you had better lighting I don't know if we can get that to get there where you guys can see that at all. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. Let's see if we go. We'll we'll climb up here on this picnic table up here and see if we get some more light. Because I'm gonna pack all this stuff up and then I'm heading home. Just do it one thing at a time, one step at a time. It's a lot of work to do all this. Yes. Oh, I can see a little bit of the numbers now. You can see the ten I was talking about that will go up to 99 times so going with our example of a class example how can a classroom or students use these for scholastic purposes or how could you buy one of these online and use it to study well you would set it for 10 times but you would set it for two minutes each and it'll take you 20 minutes to do all the questions and you'll have two minutes to do a question and then it'll beep and then you move on to the next question and you spend two minutes on each question after you spend two minutes on each question you spend the same amount of time on each question without this what you're doing is you're just saying oh I got 10 questions I got 20 minutes and I'll spend like a minute here I'll spend five minutes there oh my god I spent 10 minutes on one question seriously are you kidding me are you freaking kidding me 
yeah, that's what's going to happen. Yeah, we're not freaking kidding you. I don't know if they say freaking or freaking or something like that. But the idea is, like this, you could spend equal amount of time on each question. Or like to use them to train with. To avoid time pressure when you're playing a tournament and you're, you're not doing time management, you have poor time management, you always get into time trouble. What you do is you get one of these timers and you set it like, remember I said it goes 99? Let's say that you set it for 30. You want to play a game and you don't want it to go over 30 moves. We're just going to play the first 30 moves and we'll see win or lose or whatever, okay? So you set it for 30 and you set it for two minutes a piece. So that's like game in 60. Okay, that's an hour's time. But the advantage is when you're using this countdown timer, it does a lot of the work for you. So when you're training, when you're doing your training games in chess, like an athlete trains, they go to a track and they run, they go to cross country, they go to basketball practice, soccer practice, football. You get the idea. Any sport, you have a coach and a training program. To get really good at chess, you do the same thing. And the clock, you need good time management. Sitting around like some idiot imbecile, oh, I'll just sit and use the clock all the time. Duh. No wonder you have time trouble. Use this, and I think... We should be able to get this to come on. If I'm not mistaken. Nope, that's on setup. Go back. Go back. Nope, 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 nope. Now. It is not here. Now you don't want that thing to start. This is kind of embarrassing. I don't remember how you set it for the stopwatch one. Go back. Go to setup mode. That's off. Oh, go back here. Nope, hold on. Got a GoPro in one hand. There is a little... Hold on. Give me a second here. Set up. Nope. Go on through. Go on to your next one. And then... That's to vibrate. And you go down here. It's one second, two seconds, five seconds, or nine seconds. All right. So we'll say, we'll, we'll go back, cycle through it. One, two, we'll say five seconds. Okay. Now you've changed it so it'll vibrate um, each one, each time it'll vibrate. But what I'm wanting, nope, nope, nope. There, that clears it right there. You can see now you don't have three on top and one minute on the bottom. You just have a single timer. And, ah, no, we don't want that. 93, 83, 73. Yeah, yeah. Go for 99 minutes, almost 100 minutes. Nope. So it counts backwards. There we go. Now, nope, it's not it. Oh, I really seriously need to do a video on this. 
really need to and it is really simple i will just be honest with you and say i use the countdown timer more than the stopwatch so i don't remember i'm sleep deprived but i don't remember off the top of my head as to how that you um, put it into one mode or the other i know when it first comes on nope it's not it when it first comes on I'm thinking you have to hit both buttons or something to uh, put that thing into stopwatch mode. Okay, shut it off. Okay. Nope, it's not it. Not it. Uh, let's try. Nope. I had a little cheat sheet here. This is an example, perfect example. I've got these things and they can become frustrating. Just do that. <laughs> and yeah, turn that thing off. But you want to go, I think it's here. Yeah, that one vibrated and then it starts counting down backwards. You just go to here, hit the button on the left. That'll shut it off. And let's just go get the little booklet that comes with it in my clock. I have a clock that's the demo clock and it's got the little instruction booklet. Never throw away, <laughs> yeah. Never throw away the instructions. You're going to need those. Do not throw them away. Do not throw them away, my friend. You're going to need them. All right, as you can see, uh, the instructions looks like they're all in Chinese, huh? Yeah, exactly. But they're also in English. We get this open, you guys will see they're in English as well. And what we need, I was sure that I brought my reading glasses. Yes, that dreaded thing. I have to have reading glasses. It is a necessary evil. I read so much. Oh, no. I think I left them. Uh-oh. Oh, no. You left your reading glasses. Oh, no. Nope. Ha, 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 ha. That's all. That's all of our analysis chess sets. Right down here and some other stuff. Ah, here we go. Funny comedic moment. Read my mind. Like a puzzle, right? Oh, and there's our flashlight. Oh, we're going to need that to go home. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, and here's a novel idea. How do you keep these uh, chess boards from blowing away if it gets windy? Da, da, da. It's a ball of twine. You just run a piece across there. You could get a wooden slat, and you could get uh, tablecloth clamps, like when you put a tablecloth on a picnic table. You could do that. You could do take a piece of string which i'll have to do another time obviously not now but yeah i'm gonna have to come up here and i thought about using paracord or parachute cord but chime in comments below what do you guys think think this would work out if we use this this little string be like less intrusive or unobtrusive um i think that's the right word less obtrusive you could use either one really less obtrusive or less intrusive but, ha, 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 what we are trying to do is we are trying to get those reading glasses. So everybody on YouTube, listen up. Now I got my reading glasses, so, ha, 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 I'm going to be able to read it now. Absolutely. Now, what we are wanting is the little instruction manual and how do you switch it, um, the stopwatch, oh, in the countdown mode figure, hold the next button and press the change button to move to the count up. Oh my God, that was so simple. I feel like a moron myself. So, next button over on the left, and it says right there, when it's counting down, uh, hold the next button and press the change button. So you go over here and you see the change button 
is number three. So you got to hold down the button on the left and then press the button on the right. So we're going to go ahead and try it. We're going to grab one of the, we're going to grab one of these little puppies and we're going to try this bad boy out. We're going to turn it on. Now, when holding down the next button, see if I'm any semi coordinated, hold the next button, which is on the left, and then the one on the right, which is your change button, hold it down. Ah ha ha ha. Oh, so simple. Yes, simple when you know how. I'm just trying to be funny, YouTube. For all of you on YouTube that are going to be, or that are, when you see this video on YouTube, you will be watching this video. Aha, there it is. Yes, the stopwatch mode. So let's hit it. Hit it, Johnny, hit it. Okay, there you go. Now you can see it's counting. Your bottom number is hundredths of a second and your top number up here are your seconds. So example, that is 14 seconds and 21 one hundredths. All right. For our intents and purposes, for using it for a class or to study, that would be 14 seconds. And then you clear it. Clear. See? Clear. See it? So how would you use this in a chess game? They would say, okay, make your move. Ready? Go. And then you're thinking of a move. Bam. Whammo. Oh, it took you like two seconds. Get your time up here. And you say, oh, it took you two seconds. Then you write down two seconds. Write down your move. Write down two seconds. 